drinking buddies. Today I wanted to offer you some ways to enhance your abdominal strength without having to leave the sitting position. Many of us have difficulty with the low back or the neck and sit-ups, crunches, and planks just aren't available to all of us. There's some easy ways to do this. The classic way is to do boat pose. So I'll turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. We start on the sitting bones. You should be able to feel those ischial tuberosities, those little two bones that you sit on right underneath you. And the feet are flat to the floor and the knees are pointed at the ceiling. For baby bear, you just place your hands next to you, point your toes, and imagine there's a string at the center of your chest that's holding you up. If you can do more and you feel you want to, you can bring your calves parallel to the floor and your arms out. For me, it's easier to cross my ankles. That's not true for everyone, but this is how I'll have to demonstrate it. And if you're feeling wild and woolly and you can take Papa Bear, you can also straighten your legs. Really pull down with your belly button and that'll help to hold you up. So boat pose is one option. To work the obliques, we come back to the seated posture. You don't need to be cross-legged, it's just comfortable for me to be cross-legged, so this is how I'm demonstrating it, but you can be however it's comfortable for you to be. We'll bring the fingertips up to the shoulders. If you have any shoulder conditions, you can take the hands down in front of you. And we'll just twist to each side, as much as you can twist, and to your range of motion. If you have known low back conditions, you'll want to start out slower and warm up and work your way up to faster if that's available to you. If not, there's nothing wrong with going at a slow, gentle pace. Some people will take the gaze with them. And some people like to leave the gaze forward. It doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable. You'll really feel your oblique muscles working in short order. Finally, we have the Hars. So this is coming to us from the Kundalini tradition. And to be truthful, you'll probably feel like an asshole while you're doing it, but you'll get over it. The Hars are something I like to do in the car. The Hars in the car. I like it because you can push your back into the seat and push the heels of your hands into the steering wheel and really isolate your belly muscles. Now, no one can see what's going on underneath or past your armpit, so they won't know that you're up to something goofy. If you do the HARS for the duration of each stoplight throughout the day, you end up doing about the equivalent of 200 sit-ups. So even if it feels awkward, it's really beneficial. Give it a try. I like to take my arms up overhead it's comfortable for me but many people feel like it's easier when they're learning to start with the hands on the knees if you advance and you want to do more you take the arms up overhead interlace the fingers and release the index fingers we're going to fill the belly button up we're going to fill the belly with air so the belly button travels away from the body fill it up like a balloon and then we're going to snap the navel in and up like a j shape and that will push air out of the belly and create this ha sound. This is exactly what happens when you belly laugh. You fill up your belly and then you push the air out and you go ha 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 Now we're just going to take that to a more regulated state. Pull in and up with the belly. And what I find is that this can be difficult to coordinate. If you only focus on the exhale, the inhale happens and you don't have to think about it. The sound is H a, R, a cross between har and hud, or hudda. If it bothers you to try to make the noise, don't worry about it. It just helps you to know that you're exhaling in the proper place. So nice, long, tall, straight spine, and we're gonna take the belly in and up like a J shape.
Some people feel like they don't um, have as much stress and strain in the abdomen as when they do crunches, for example, and this is because you haven't been pulling on them and uh, causing them stress and strain. So it might be a different sensation, but it's still quite a bit of work. It's still those muscles moving themselves in a rapid fire way. So these are just three ways that you can work on your abdominal muscles from the seated position. If you have a favorite or another idea, or if you'd like to see something else demonstrated, kindly visit me over at the Champagne and Chakras Facebook page and ask for me there, and I will try to accommodate you. I hope this was helpful. Rock out with your cork out.